All right, I'm back to do my thick signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So let's put this in the comments. Aquarius. Adios, mia. Scorpio. Let's get into you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I always wonder, people born on 11-22, do you guys resonate more with Scorpio or Sagittarius or a little bit of both? Because I have like three people that I know with that birthday and they all give me different vibes because I know like each of them possess different, you know, signs in their natal chart. But it's just so funny, like none of them act the same. So let me know if you have that birthday. What sign you resonate with more as far as your personality goes? Scorpio or Sagittarius? All right, Aquarius, what are you dealing with in the next 48 hours? What are you dealing with in the next 48? Aquarius, you could be working out. You may feel sore in the next 48 hours. So if you just worked out, just know if you don't feel it now, you will be feeling it later. Okay, you have changes, sudden changes happening okay quick fast tower moment energy um now aquarius you may have male masculine ancestor energy surrounding you at this time they are always protecting you okay through the ups and through the downs they are keeping you strong they are keeping you uh in the energy of keep moving forward, keep pushing forward, keep doing what you got to do. Uh, no matter what's going on, do your best, right? Um, a lot of you guys, if you are wondering if your family is protected and being watched over, they are, okay? Your family, this is over the family. So your family's protected, your family is okay, they're going to be okay. Um, there's a male ancestor here that's watching over your family okay they're watching over your children they're watching over all your loved ones i'm here a family is forever so maybe a lot of you guys went through a lot of changes with your family but this ancestor here wants you to know that no matter what changes you go through, no matter what disagreements, fights, arguments you have, family is always going to be your family. And I don't know if that's something that they valued very, very much. Okay, like they may get into an argument with somebody, but they still love their family. And they may be trying to teach you to learn forgiveness so maybe a lot of you guys went through a lot of drastic changes when it came to family dynamics. And it's like, at the end of the day, love your family. You don't always have to talk to them, okay? You may not always have to invite them everywhere you go. Um, you may just be in the presence of them for a family function. And it's like, just let there just be nothing but love there for the family function and then you go your separate way you know but just make sure that when it comes to family there's always love there don't have 
the energy of resentment, of pain, of hurt, um, stagnation type of energy, okay? They want you to understand that we all go through good and bad. We all do right and wrong. Um, it's the energy of you just loving people for who they are. And I don't know why I'm getting like, if you want God to forgive you for certain things, you have to learn how to be just like God, you know, where you forgive people. You know, you may not want to always engage and interact with them, but the thing is, it's the forgiveness part that you're missing. So when it pertains to definite family to learn forgiveness so you don't have resentment within your heart, okay? For others of you, who else got this? Oh, God, Pisces got this. Because I'm getting the energy of... But Pisces had a male and their family passing away. Aquarius, you have the... No, Pisces had the female energy passing away in the family. You have the male energy passing away in the family and it's like this is something that happened so sudden so quick and you're asking why like what the hell how and you know how they say people die in threes pisces may experience you may know a pisces that pisces may experience a death of somebody they know and then you turn around and you experience a death of somebody just with the male you know energy that you know and it's like y'all on the phone conversating and it's like, damn, like this shit just happened so quick, so fast. Like what the fuck? Like this could pertain to family and or they could be like family. I send my condolences to you guys. I just got sad. Whoever this person is, they they will always love you. You will always be family to them. Even if like you were just like close peoples, you know, they looked at you and loved you like family, Aquarius. And I'm hearing hit home. Like, this is going to hit home to you. Like, this may be somebody really close to you. And I'm so, 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 so sorry. For others of you, I'm seeing you saying, like, no matter what happens. Like, I feel like for some of you, what, like, for instance, say this death already occurred, right? You're seeing the importance in love and family and being connected with family and loving family through thick and thin and ups and downs because life is short. Okay, you may see that life is is not promised to everybody the next day. And because of a passing, you had this sudden change of heart where it's like, I'm going to love you guys regardless. Like, I see somebody having a deep-ass conversation with family that they've always loved, continue to love, even when they, you know, they pissed them off. They loved these people here. Y'all guys got me all teary-eyed. Aww. Yeah. There could be some sudden changes with money as well. You could be questioning like, how the hell did I manage to manifest this money? Or where the hell did my money go? Or there's a drastic change with money and you questioning it. This has something to do with the past. But you have the past and the moving forward card. 
You may have somebody from your past trying to move forward with you. Like maybe somebody from your past is trying to give you some type of money, Aquarius. And it's like in order for them to be able to move forward, it's like they right their wrongs by giving you money. And you could be questioning this like, is this a setup? Where'd you get it from? Like, why? I feel like this person may even want to entertain you in some way, shape, or form. I don't know why I'm hearing institutionalized. I don't know if you got an ancestor put their foot on somebody neck to do right by you because <laughs> i'm also getting that like you have a male ancestor that put their foot on somebody's neck in the spiritual realm and made this person do right by you and they're coming around to give you something pertaining to finances whether this is a job a career money that they owed you in some way shape or form and it's like you questioning why why the sudden change? Why all of a sudden you want to give this to me? Why all of a sudden it's because your ancestors sat there and put their foot on somebody's neck and made them do right by you. <laughs> like you could even have had a family with this person, or you looked at this person like what like this person was going to be your forever person that you was gonna forever love this person, you was gonna forever have family with them. Like, or you was going to have a family with this person. Like, this was your end-all, be-all type of situation. I, Aquarius, you got some, some sudden changes happening, okay? Let's get into Scorpio. Scorpio, what's happening with you in the next 48 hours? Scorpio. Scorpio, there's some type of blockage going on in the next 48 hours, okay? Maybe you may be blocking someone. Someone could be blocking you. Or there could just be some type of delays going on in the next 48 hours for you. That's a lot. Let's get. Okay, Spirit wants you to have a lot. So we're just going to take it. <laughs> yeah, you're being, if you're being delayed with something, blocked by something, it's because it's no good right now. It's not conducive to your highest good at this time. This could be pertaining to a water sign male, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person could be younger than you or this person is an adult and they just act very immature. Scorpio, this, if you don't have, because some of you, you may have a teenager and you could be telling this person, mm -mm, no, like they could be asking you for something and they are waiting on your decision and the decision is no. You're blocking them from doing something. Because I feel like whatever it is that you're blocking them from and stopping them from doing, it's because you want this person to be their higher selves. You want this person to man up. You want this person to mature. You want this person to be a productive citizen in the world, okay? For some of you, if this is you, right, spirit is blocking certain things out of your life, stopping things from coming your way, delaying certain things, because like I said, it's not divine timing or it's something that's going to get you caught up, okay? Um, I see here that you may feel like you've been blocked left and right, that you've been dealing with negative experiences left and right with people, places, and things and it's due to a lack of maturity when it comes to your decision making. 
you haven't been making the right decisions like you are supposed to. And this is why spirit has blocked a lot of things from coming your way and has blocked a lot of things and delayed a lot of things in your life because spirit needs you to mature, okay? You need to mature when it comes to your decision making and you need to be making choices that are going to be beneficial to your higher self, your future self. Because if not, spirit is hitting the pause button. You will continue to deal with stagnation until you learn how to make decisions with this head and not that head, okay? Some of you are very passionate and very lustful and very, let's just say horny at this time, okay? And you may be going towards this type of energy because you feel that it's going to help you mentally and emotionally to clear your mind, but it's not. You also have a female ancestor here that's been watching you, trying to push you to heal mentally and emotionally and move forward with some type of career passion. Like they want you focused more on your career goals, think, making your passions, your paycheck, and not, like I said, thinking with that head and not this head. They want you thinking with this head and not that head. So in order for you to remove these blockages that you may be having, Scorpio, you have to make better decisions for yourself. And that means loving yourself enough to know that you shouldn't be dealing with that ex that you, that keep coming back around just because they have good sex. It, it, making better decisions because not just because you're dating someone because they look attractive to you and they get this head up, you know, type of energy. You have to start making better choices like what's going to be good for you and beneficial to you in the long haul. Okay, what's what's going to allow you to become a better you? Not going back to being the old you. If you're a female Scorpio, you may have blocked and deleted a Cancer Scorpio Pisces male out of your life due to them being immature, due to them making immature decisions, due to them deciding not to be their higher self and their best self. And you realize that this person caused you so much stagnation and set you back so much and so far in life, you are like, F you. This Venus retrograde is definitely showing you your worth. And obviously this person right here ain't it. Okay? This person, you, you're realizing this person has blocked you from getting all that your heart desires for a very fucking long time. And because this person is immature, they're grown ass individual making stupid decisions. You are like, you can block yourself. You can cause stagnation within yourself. But what you're not finna do is do that with me. Some of you male Scorpios are dealing with another water sign male. And you're telling this to this person. You want, you grown just like I am. You make decisions just like I do. If you want to choose to keep effing up, then that's on you. But what you're not going to do is have me pay for your karma. So now I am, because I see like you're learning that by you always helping this person, whether you're male or female, you are accumulating their karma instead of allowing God to let them learn whatever lesson that they need to learn. Stop being a super saver hoe. Okay. All right. So Scorpio, that is the energy that you will be dealing with in the next 48 hours. Taurus. something could be coming around this venus retrograde for you to handle a situation differently for you to respond differently some of you you need to this could be due with finances okay in some way shape or form an old job could be calling you back to come back and work from them know your worth okay scorpio i mean you could be dealing with a scorpio taurus um Taurus, if you have 
water in your chart, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and you were dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio's blocking you. They're cutting you out of their life. And you may be feeling empty inside due to it, okay? For others of you, you are starting over. Like I said, uh, you, fin you just finished a karmic cycle, right? And now you're at that point where you're right... <laughs> You're, you're at zero. You're not at one. You're not at the new beginning yet. The new beginning is on its way. It's just that you are at a standstill right now, right? Where you need to figure out exactly what it is that you want to do, how you're going to go about doing it so that this new beginning can start for you. You're at square one. You're starting from scratch. So, baby, excuse me. You could be feeling tired at this time. Make sure you're resting. Okay, make sure you're doing absolutely nothing so that when this new beginning comes and it's offered to you, you're well rested and well prepared for it. Make sure you're eating light and make sure you're getting enough rest. Yeah, make sure you're not drinking and smoking and overindulging in things because you're going to need all your strength, okay? You're going to need all the clarity that you need. You need to be in tip-top shape. Okay, for this new beginning. Yeah, see, you're going to get a message, a phone call, all right? A DM, a letter in the mail. You could have been heavily thinking about this, okay? This could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Where you finally started, at, started from scratch. You could be single, ready to mingle. You let go of all the toxic things that have been holding you back. And you're finally sliding in somebody's DMs or calling somebody, trying to connect with somebody because you've been thinking about this person. This person could be younger than you. You could also have been thinking about how empty you felt without this person in your life. Yeah, but you had to go through a transformation. See, Taurus, you went through a transformation. You had to, you went through a death and rebirth. You had to shed some ego layers within yourself. You could have been thinking about why you felt so alone and empty inside. It's because you had to heal from a broken heart. You had to heal from disappointment in life. You had to learn how to set boundaries for yourself, healthy boundaries. You had to learn to let people know, don't play with me. If you're going to come in my life, you're going to have to play your cards right. Because if not, it's off with your head. You've learned to set boundaries with yourself. You're learn or you're learning, learning this. Or this is the energy you'll be feeling in the next 48 hours. Once you go through a death and a rebirth, once you shed some ego layers, you're going to feel tired. You're going to feel exhausted. You're going to feel empty inside. You're going to feel like you're not doing anything. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do because you've went through a drastic change in your life. And now you have to rest, regroup, rethink things, reorganize your life, figure out what is going to truly make you feel happy and fulfilled. So that this new, when this new beginning comes, when you start feeling energized again, you're ready to go. Okay. Some of you after, like you may have broke someone's heart and now you're running back to heal this person's heart after you've had to go through some lessons and some transformations within your own life. Or somebody could be doing this towards you they had to go through some heavy changes they had to learn some lessons they had to let go of some toxic behavior before that before spirit even allowed them back into your life and i feel like now that they've learned those lessons and cleared out all that negativity that they needed to clear out now the two of you can come back together and it's like you may have your guard up and letting this person know like i'm not for the games I'm not to be played with. And if you don't play your cards right, you're going to reap those repercussions. Okay. And last but not least, Leo. A 
thought I saw something in my water. Well, it's not my water. It looked like it, but I can't tell. I can't tell because that light is glaring on it. But if that is a gnat flying in that water, Leo, whatever was nagging you, whatever is bothering you, it's a dead situation now. It's no longer bothering you. You're no longer triggered by it. The situation is over with, finally. So in the next 48 hours, if there was something nagging you, bugging you, bothering you in any way, shape, or form, it will no longer be doing that in the next 48 hours, okay? All right, Leo. What are you dealing with in the next 48 hours? See, that water is for ancestors and spirit guides. So they may have made sure some shit ended quick, fast, so it's not bothering you no more. Okay, so you may have had to worry about money, finances, resources in some way, shape, or form due to some type of immaturity within yourself. And this energy of Venus retrograde, you're realizing that you got shit to do. You have to get your ducks in a row. You may have been bothered by this energy here, um, but now you're doing something about it, okay? Something has to give is what I'm hearing. Yeah, see, this was a karmic lesson that you needed to learn when it came to your finances, your resources, your responsibilities, your priorities. You're moving out of that energy of being immature with your with your resources and your money and making sure your priorities come first and then your wants. There's no spending all your money on your wants and then you can't pay your bills, okay? Yeah, see, and that's a good thing because you have a male ancestor here that has been working with you. Whether you know it or not, they've been pushing you. You don't know where you're getting that strength from, where you're getting that energy from to keep overcoming these obstacles, to, to change your behaviors and your ways. I don't know. You're like, I don't know where I got the energy or the courage to jump and leap on something, um, but it was beneficial to you. Okay, this change that's happening is beneficial to you. You're manning up, you're womaning up. Okay, I'm hearing it takes two to tango. You have um, a male ancestor here. So if you're a male, Leo, when it comes to your partnerships and a give and take, you have a male ancestor teaching you if you weren't taught by your father or had a father figure in your life to teach you how to be a man, how to be a provider and a protector for your spouse, you're being taught that now. You're being taught like your role in a relationship, your role in a, in a business partnership, like you're learning how to play your role. I think I told some of you Leos that it would take up until the 8th of August for some of y'all. And then for some of y'all, it wasn't going to take to the 8th of August. So those that haven't received some type of resources or finances yet, you you have to wait until August 8th at least. But for others of you, you don't have to wait till August 8th. It's here for you now within the next 48 hours. Okay. And it's like the only reason why you're getting it sooner than later is because you did the work. You did what you were supposed to do. You took the leap of faith on something. It worked out for you. Your ancestors helped you on the other side to get this partnership, to get this job, to get this connection with somebody. Okay. But it took for you to actually put yourself out there first. Some of you, there's a pregnancy here. Some of you, the re and the crazy thing is the reason why they pushed you so hard to get your shit together, because you'll be pregnant soon, Leo. Whether you're getting someone pregnant or someone is pregnant. Some of y'all done slid up in something <laughs> and took a chance. Raw dog in it. Congratulations. Moving forward, you'll be pregnant. 
And what's this? It'll be July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. You'll probably have a Taurus or an Aries. Baby. Some of you, you may already be two months pregnant. And you may have, yeah, you may have an end up, and that's crazy because you have the Aquarius card underneath here. You may have an Aquarius daughter with Virgo in her chart. And baby, if you don't have your shit together for that child, oh, that, that child gonna remind you every time. You know how they be having them kids that be in the store talking about mom, dad, why you always broke in front of people? <laughs> That's the type of child you're gonna have. If you have a child with Aquarius placements and Virgo placements, you better have your shit together because this kid is gonna be so smart and this kid is gonna have all their I's dotted and T's crossed at a very early age. They're gonna be looking at you like, why are you the way that you are? And spirit knows that. This is why they are preparing you to make sure you got it together because this child that you are going to have, they gonna like come out the womb knowing how to do taxes already. like. They're going to be teaching you how to do stuff. Like, that ass. They're going to be, like, looking at you like, why you ain't got it together? Because if I was in your predicament, I would have X, Y, and Z done. And they might, you might literally have a genius of a child. So if you're a little slow, <laughs> just know your child won't be. <laughs> just know that. Okay? But, guys, that was your reading. Okay? You may be finding this out. This may not be happening to you. This may be happening to somebody near you, close to you, okay? Um, but that's the energy that you'll be dealing with in the next 48 hours.